Neuroendocrine tumours are derived from endocrines, which can be found anywhere in, uh, in the body, and most commonly in the gastrointestinal tract, the pancreas and uh, the lungs. And uh, they can present often with no symptoms uh, at all, uh, but occasionally they can present with hormonal uh, symptoms such as uh, flushing and uh, diarrhea. And actually the interesting thing about them is they're said to be rare and uh, that's not necessarily the case. In fact, they're more common than gastric cancer and conditions such as myeloma. So not quite so rare as people think. The common symptoms can be flushing and diarrhea, but they can just be abdominal pain uh, and really uh, could present in a very non-specific uh, way. They're diagnosed by special blood tests. Um, we do a special scans, a PET scan called a gallium-68 uh, octreotate scan. It's possibly the most sensitive uh, scan for picking up these tumours. And these scans are not available at all centres. And uh, we have a specialist centre at the Wellington uh, Hospital, as well as uh, my NHS hospital, the Royal Free Hospital, one of the few in the country able to do these gallium-68 um, dose-take PET uh, scans. Um, and we also use a standard CT and uh, MRI scans uh, as well. In terms of the treatment options uh, available, one has to say from the beginning, all patients are uh, discussed in our multidisciplinary uh, tumour board. Um, often patients may go on to a, um, a, a anti-hormonal injection called octreotide or lanreotide, which is once a month. They may go on to a tablet which blocks enzymes that cause the tumours to grow. And um, often patients go on to a special type of radioactive targeted, magic bullet targeted therapy called PRRT with lutetium dotatate. And that goes specifically to where the tumours are. You can kill tumour cells that way. It's very new cutting edge uh, technology. Um, occasionally we give uh, chemotherapy and many of our patients are involved in uh, research uh, trials. The outlook for uh, patients with neuroendocrine tumors overall is really good. And uh, when I first started over 20 years ago in, uh, in this condition, we've kept on doubling the survival time uh, for uh, patients. And so um, they're often slow growing. Patients will be expected usually to live uh, many years and will go perhaps from one treatment uh, to, uh, to another. And the, the main thing as well is to maintain good quality of life. Our patients have a specialist nurse, uh, nurse support, and we also put patients in contact with uh, the Neuroendocrine Cancer uh, Foundation, for which I'm uh, a patient, a uh, patron of, um, for uh, then supplying patients with extra information and extra support as needed.